Hello everyone, today we will start multivariate analysis of variance or in simply MANOVA. It's a multivariate uh, for uh, in a, at the contrast of ANOVA. ANOVA deals with univariate and in multivariate you will deal with MANOVA. Uh, what is exactly MANOVA? When you just, uh, before understanding MANOVA you have to understand ANOVA where in ANOVA there is one dependent variable y but in MANOVA you will find many dependent variables or more than one dependent variables and then it will be called as MANOVA very short very simply in just one unique point so see what it, how is the definition written here multivariate analysis of variance is an extension of analysis of uh, variance so it's an extension for the ANOVA in case of multivariate so what is it used for it is used for multiple uh, use it is used when there are multiple dependent variables to be analyzed simultaneously so we have to analyze simultaneously y1 y2 accordingly so MANOVA tests whether the mean vector of multiple groups are significantly different from each other. Uh, so we will de de develop with these dependent variables, but they are uh, they create a mean vector, and this mean vector are uh, vary across the groups or not significantly. That what we like to test. Uh, it is particularly useful when the response variable are collected uh, correlated as it accounts for interdependence among them so it's uh, when we just go for example let's say first start a, an example suppose you are given uh, three diet programs diet program so you can consider uh, 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 diet program and in this diet program you suppose you say you have uh, uh, keto one diet program uh, it is known as keto keto uh, another diet program uh, say Say Mediterranean, Mediterranean, and say the last one vegan. Vegan. So these are three diet programs. Okay, and it's inside a variable, and they are very much related. As there are the categories and consider these are the independent variable X and we wanted to test for the response variable Y of weight loss weight loss okay so there is an, a single uh, dependent variables right so we are testing uh, there are three independent variables and uh, and a single uh, dependent variable so it will definitely account for the ANOVA see after before understanding MANOVA you have to understand what is exactly ANOVA so what is our goal in this case of ANOVA our goal is to determine whether there is significantly different uh, difference in the average weight loss across the uh, across the diets so here you will get average of say average of say 5 kg um, uh, say uh, 55 kg here you you can uh, make out average as uh, 60 kg here you can find out as sorry average as 70 kg 
so you can find out these averages so we have to look out that uh, these are the groups you have to understand in this particular group there are three different categories so our what is our objective our main objective is to determine whether uh, significantly difference in the average weight loss across the diets say here weight loss on average uh, in this keto group say 5 kg so mu 1 5 kg say at this one 6 kg mu 2 at this group say 7 kg these are the weight losses mean weight losses across these groups before that the individual uh, this is the complex one you 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 can be uh, very much complex with this uh, so don't um, just uh, avoid this one first of all understand this one uh, on average these are the groups and in this particular groups uh, we have uh, found that and group one and group keto 5 kg has been lost on average uh, and uh, the next group lost 6 kg and the last one losses 7 kg so is this means differ from different uh, differ significantly or not we have to check it out and these averages are coming from the weight loss the averages of weight loss the averages of the dependent variable and here the dependent variables is one so it's going to uh, uh, analyze in ANOVA so in contrast we will look at what is MANOVA uh, see in MANOVA as you already say that this there are multiple dependent variables um, so we can consider as a uh, dependent variables y1 y2 y3 three dependent variables say um, math score score um, you can say that reading writing skill based on some independent variables x3 say <clears throat> online class uh, online class uh, say homework say um, what you can say that uh, you can say that lecture class lectures physical class lectures these are also groups okay so what you will do you will start with uh, say 30 students and you give each of these groups 10 students 10 students 10 students 10 students okay now you will examine examine uh, uh, about in this group how much students score the math score say uh, at group one of x1 math score say 90 math score uh, reading is 80 uh, and writing skill is 70 so this one will be for x1 similarly you will find x2 and x3 so x1 uh, for x1 group what we will find 90 80 and 70 similarly for x2 group you will found uh, say 70 uh, 75 80 and x3 group you will find 55 60 70 now you will calculate the mean y2 y3 the means of these groups and when you calculate this means you will have to check to test if the teaching methods uh, defined here our online classes 
homeworks and class lectures physically to uh, if these teaching methods have significant overall effect on the combination of student outcomes not just one not just one so you have to understand carefully that if there is a significant overall effect on the combination of a student's outcome or not so you have to understand whether the mean is significantly different from the overall combination these are the combinations okay these are the combinations so here we are mentioning combination because of this so we we have to understand is there a significant overall effect on the this combination of students outcomes or not so this is actually the task of manova so this is the example of manova manova okay so we are getting into our example first so i'm very much sorry with some misconfigurations okay now we are dealing with uh, 